So you've got one part of the brain connected to the other part of the brain with a wire. And this is the white matter. If there's a lesion, if there's a lesion which is damaging that wire, then what happens is that connection is dismantled. And what your brain will do is it will rewire. It'll send other connections in other places. And it'll rebuild uh, new connections, new wires. But what happens is you now have to use a lot more brain to get the job done. So someone who has brain lesions can still process potentially, maybe almost as quickly as someone without brain lesions, but they're gonna use a lot more brain to get it done. It's my opinion that that's the underpinnings in part of fatigue. So here's an analogy. Let's pretend that you and I go for a promenade on this cold uh, November uh, Thanksgiving day. Um, and we're gonna go out in my backyard and walk along the river. Except before we go, I tie weights to your feet. So now you have bricks tied to your feet and you're gonna keep time with me. We're gonna walk in lockstep. We're gonna walk at the same time, at the same pace, and we're gonna walk the same distance. And we complete the walk exactly at the same time. At the end of the walk, you are way more tired than me. Your leg muscles are more tired than my leg muscles because you had to drag the weights behind you. So I like that analogy because I think part of the reason that people with MS are fatigued is they're using a lot more surface area of their brain to get the same job done.